Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Today we are done with that house that we started last episode. I don't have an ender eye. That's really sad. Um, <laughs> I wanted to make another ender chest just in case I didn't have one uh, where we we're going. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm just going to snag this one because we got one upstairs. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I just uh, just woke up, so uh, I'm starting to play a little bit of Minecraft right here in the morning, and I'm really enjoying it. Where we are going, though, uh, we are going to do some caving strip mining today with a beacon, but we'll get to that later. Uh, right now, I want to show you guys this. I finished the pathway that I told you guys about. It's This house isn't quite 100% done, but uh, as far as the actual house is concerned, it's pretty well done. So, like I said, come up here and you can already see what's inside, what's in store. A little pathway full of fences and carpet you can jump on and, and move about and all this sort of cool stuff. Just to make it that much more kind of floaty and interesting up here. And you can already hear the minecart going. We step inside and look at that. We have a Jeb sheep. You've seen most of this, but I added in this light with the green uh, glass panes. I'm going to turn this Whoops, that's F1. I'm going to turn this down for you guys. And the way you turn down minecarts, if it's your own minecart, you turn down players. Because you're a player. But if it's an animal or something, you turn down friendly creatures. And then we should be silent. Very nice. That's good. And we got a disco ball sheep moving around. And I think that's basically it. Oh, yeah, I put in white stained glass. Oh, you fell, didn't you? Whoops, well... We'll get you back. That seems to happen a lot with my uh, armor stands. They fall a lot, but that's quite all right. And we will put this guy up here, and you can see how that's going to look. I need, I still need chainmail armor for that, so that's that, but not too big of a deal. Fireplace, still pretty good. Uh, in order for this not to... Uh, catch on fire you have to put this block there I don't think I cleared that up in my last episode it's usually pretty good in this 3x3 area but for some reason I had to add this in order to get that to not burn down so yeah white stained glass right there and right there worked out pretty well and if we go back around here you will be able to see oh yeah we can use these little steps right here and head on over to the back look at that very nice very cool and we go back around here, still nothing yet back here, but I want to get the entire like village started starting up to uh, to finish this off. And I had a little rock pile here, it's kind of obvious, but hopefully it'll snow and I'll add some snow here to make it more uh, conspicuous for that. So that is what I did right there. I'm out of food. I'm out of food. So we're going to grab some food and then we are going to go strip mining. Today, uh, I don't necessarily need a bunch of resources but I would like a bunch of resources I need some more diamond and I want to get more uh, yeah diamond levels and chance all that kind of stuff and I need a lot of diamond for that and I, I would like a lot more coal than I have right now just basically we are in the intermediate stages of Minecraft right now and I don't like that well I, I, I like it but I want to progress a little bit and I feel like I haven't progressed as much as I should so we're gonna take oh let's let's take steak because I haven't had steak in the longest time so we'll take steak outstrip mining and uh, that'll be good where we are strip mining not here um, I'm gonna go over here and show you guys what I want to do for this and then we'll head over there um, Wow, that was a big fall I have feather falling two boots on but uh, my diamond stuff is over here near the wither which we will have to fight again if you saw before I got two wither skeleton skulls so I'm gonna go in the other find a third one and then I'm gonna get ourselves another beacon I'm, pro I'm probably not going to get uh, or fight the wither above ground again I'll probably just do a really boring underground one uh, just because you know uh, but this strip mine the strip mines done uh, there's really too many caves around here there's not a lot of good diamond stuff so I'm really not too interested yeah this is the majority of our diamond stuff minus the helmet and we've still got stuff to fight to wither here 
do I need boots or helmet? No, I don't. And uh, yep, this is where we will fight the wither, but uh, that's that. Coming down here, I'll show you the strip mine really quick. What I do with the strip mine, okay, I will come down and we'll, we'll do this later too. I, I should take a bed, shouldn't I? I think I have all the stuff I need there though. And I'll just strip mine every two blocks. And that's that. It's pretty standard. I'll put a beacon here so that I have haste and I can just run down. Usually what people do with haste beacons, they'll just completely level out a chunk of world down there. Uh, like two tall or three tall or whatever. That is not efficient and I do not like that. You can get... You can cover so much more ground if you do it the regular branch mining way, I think, and uh, just running in lines as far as the beacon will allow you, which is what we are going to do today. And because we are in an extreme hills, I kind of felt like we weren't getting as much diamond as we should. Now, of course, that's just kind of one of those things that you speculate in Minecraft. That's not really, I don't think it's a fact, but I think because there's a lot more like emeralds, like there's less diamonds or something. I, that's probably all just in my head, but uh, I'm going to go back to our original spawn and create a strip mine there. And we, excuse me, we are going to go there together, which is really cool. And around here, my frame rate always drops. I'm not quite sure why. I don't know if there's something here in the terrain, if it's the wheat growing or or if it's the soil planted there. I'm not quite sure what it is, but we always stop right there. It's kind of annoying. And hopefully the new uh, update will fix that. I, yeah, I think not, well, for you guys, it'll be in a couple days. I think it'll be in a couple days for you guys. Yeah, this should be going out on Monday. So uh, on Wednesday or Thursday, it should be uh, released Minecraft 1.8.1 with a couple bug fixes and optimizations. They said on their Twitter account, Dinabone and Jeb, I believe. And so uh, that should be good. Hopefully that'll fix that. And they said they were working on stuff for 1.9 and i believe i'm not sure if this is true or not i believe they mentioned um working on snapshots still so that is a big encouragement to me i was afraid uh, if you saw my last episode i was afraid that because microsoft was this big corporation they would have to like quality test i would want to say quality test every snapshot every update to this game but uh, which would limit the amount of snapshots released on a weekly or daily basis you are right here we got no torches where are you huh well let's grab this coal yes we got Okay, there's a cave right here that I do not want to be a part of right now. Um, it's getting nighttime too. What a terrible time to do this, Donuts. What a terrible Minecraft player you are. Um, yeah, like I was saying before, I was afraid that Microsoft would limit the amount of snapshots that was that would be able to be released, but that doesn't look like that's the case. So hopefully the Minecraft we all know and love will still remain the same and we can all play and enjoy uh, throughout the year. All right, you remember this spot? This is where I first killed the cows and I first got all the stuff. And right over here, we should be able to... My phone is freaking out. Yes, right here. This is spawn. This is the original spawn. Do I got a bed in here? Get off of that cow. Do I got a bed? I do, along with the beacon. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're going to sleep, nap a little bit, and back we are. Do the... Is there any bad guys? Hopefully not. Yes, emerald, carpet, beacon blocks, ladders, chests. Perfect. I came prepared. Beautiful. Let's do this. All right. Now, as for, do I got torches? I don't. All right. So we'll grab these guys. Now, where exactly I want to, uh, to go with this? I'm not entirely sure because I don't think I want it in spawn. I think we'll build something in the actual spawn so i think we'll come back over here on top of this little hill oh what up that's a little like tan bunny i've never seen one of you before that's cute and that is where i got my first stone and i think oh hello spidey um i think right here i'll be good on top of this hill that'll be nice 
we get a nice view of the place we can clear out some land right here and we can dig down oh this is nice ooh ooh some of my favorite things favorite parts about minecraft is exploring and just seeing the landscapes and the land generation created it's really cool yep right here we're doing it right here all right so now what we're gonna do is bam 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 let's put a torch there just so at night we can see where we're coming out again i have things cranked up so i'm gonna turn that down and we're gonna dig down all the way Ooh, coal that's good dig down all the way to level oh 12 i think i'm not entirely sure probably to bedrock then we'll put the beacon and then we can start our strip mine there is a certain level that i like to do uh where the uh, i believe diamond uh, check me if i'm wrong here diamond spawns generates at le uh, levels 16 and below so what i like to do is i like to go to level 16 or around there in fact i should be doing this do i hear something okay 39 um get down even more i like to have it where 16 is above my head 15 is at my eye level at my foot level it would be 14 and i would be standing on 13 i just lost count so it'd be like 16 15 14 and then 13 so that is what my desire is that is my goal for strip mines just so that i get the maximum uh space to actually see diamond and i think that's a that's a good strategy to use plus it's you're tall enough you avoid all of the incredibly annoying oh we're at bedrock here the incredibly annoying um completely forgot what i was about to say lava pools that's what they are yeah lava pools lava pools are no bueno and so our ladder will be right here and now i need to think about where i want this beacon i think i want the beacon here do i want it here i want it here this is where the beacon this is where i want it right here so we're gonna clear this out and we are gonna get this all set up how are you guys doing it is already i hear that zombie i know he's annoying you guys but we'll find him eventually it's all right um how are you guys doing it's already like a third of the way through november can you guys believe that that is insane to me like it's still like the beginning of september i've had my job for like over a month now that's crazy that is not uh, what i'm used to that is not what it feels like it's crazy oh these zombies are gonna be so annoying we are actually using uh, we're using a fortune pick for this which is part of the reason why i'm down here i need more diamonds i don't have as many work picks as I would like. What's the bottom one? A nine by nine, if I'm not mistaken. And I know you guys can't see donuts. Put a light down. We can't see anything. I hear you guys. It's all right. Do that, and I think we'll go out. Uh oh, three, uh, three. Oh man, that. I wonder if there's a spawner right here. That would be cool. That'd be awesome. We're gonna do that. We're gonna find out if there's a spawner. We're gonna dig out two first so that's three by three by three by nine that made no sense it's okay i'm just rambling somebody said that i constantly talk in these videos and that sometimes it's great to always be talking and entertaining and all that stuff but other times you just gotta enjoy silence of minecraft that's kind of boring so i don't want to do that for too long so we'll dig this out here beacons are so expensive and i've been thinking about this for quite a while how do we improve beacons and the reason i don't like beacons is because there is just so much you have to do in order to get them in the first place that it doesn't quite seem worth it uh, in the end just to get a little bit of a speed boost and that speed boost lowers your frame rates at least my frame rates or, or jump boost or haste or something you know it doesn't seem quite worth it haste would be the only one worth it but that requires a full beacon and by the time you have a full beacon you're probably well enough out on the whole mining stuff that you probably don't need diamond anymore well you might because you might just be getting iron but uh, it can be something that's improved the way i would like to improve it is to just add more effects to um 
to the beacon like a constant hunger bar or a constant hunger regeneration bar that would be pretty cool um maybe a sunlight daylight kind of thing where you go into the beacon and it's like you can have an option to turn on uh, a sunlight effect where it's always really bright around the beacon and it burns skeletons and zombies if they are within range i think that'd be pretty cool and uh the regeneration you could have it affect villagers and pigs and zombies and all that type of stuff that would be pretty nice and we're gonna do that and we're gonna come up right here dun, dun, dun. uh oh we need to go up one more don't we i think we do yeah we do okay uh oh the zombies stop that's good nope they're still there all right we are running out of time in this episode already man do you guys like the 20 minute episodes because I kind of do. I really do. It's nice, it's short, it's sweet. It's a little bit of Minecraft. Just get your fix on for the Minecraft you need. And uh, it's perfect for me because it's not like half an hour of me doing this really complex event. It's something nice. We're experiencing Minecraft. So uh, that is why I like that. We'll put that down right there. And well, actually, we should probably put the beacon down, you know, where it's supposed to go. And that should shoot out to the sky. It does. We will do this, we will put on haste to say check mark, and we should be gorgeous. And so what I plan on doing here is, that was weird, um, what I plan on doing is I plan on having, give me some cobble baby, um, plan on having a block there that covers up and then we can just go from here and where are we we are at level 11 so we need to go up like i said to level 16 right there so 16 is on our head i think that this is the level we want to be on right here perfect right here is what we want what we so desire and now what i do is i create a three by three tunnel out like 50 blocks on each direction just like so let's get this off of the screen so it's not bugging you guys and i will create a one main little bigger tunnel here and then i will branch mine through those i can only sleep at night of course and chests and stuff i will get organized you know what i am going to go find these zombies and I'm gonna set this up because we're running out of time. I'm gonna do that really quick and then I'll be right back with you guys. <laughs> All right guys, that did not take long. I went right straight through here and look at this. Do you hear them all? Look at that. Holy crap, look at all the zombies. Oh wow, that is incredibly way too loud. Uh, hostile creatures, why are you at 100%? You should not be at 100%. Oh man, dude, this is gonna be, this is gonna be terrible. Children are gonna be able to fit through here. A zombie spawner, baby. Oh man, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What is the best way to go about this? Oh, look at all of this. Look at all these crazy zombies. Beautiful. We got two chests right there. Did we get any special piece of armor? We did not. Do we have any diamond right here right away? Do we? Do we? Do we? Do we? Eh. Nah, we don't. Bummer. All right. Well, that was pretty nice. It's kind of... <gasps> entice me. You incredible enticer, you. I don't sing at all when you guys aren't around. For some reason, when I'm recording... I am like, I don't even know a good like popular singer <laughs> that sings all the time. Oh man, look at that. This is, this is a good sign guys. This is a good sign. This might be, oh, that is so much diamond. That is perfect. Okay. Zombie spawner. We haven't even checked the chest yet. Let's grab this. Nom, 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 nom. Diamond, diamond, diamond. Is there any more? Moss, moss, moss. Nothing. Oh, 
16. 16, almost two more blocks. Oh, that was fantastic. Let us see what is in here. Diamond horse armor. We got some of that. We got a name tag. Another diamond horse armor. Two more saddles. What a great find, guys. That and a slime. And a slime. What a great episode. Oh, this was a great episode. I, I will fix this up. I will begin to strip my next episode. We are out of time this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Kind of a talky episode, but nice, relaxing Minecraft. We might do something with this for our experience because we're going to need it if we're strip mining. Holy crap, we got redstone, iron, all the sort of good stuff right here. We got a cave to go down. This is fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. And until the next absolutely beautiful Minecraft morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, have a great day.